But we're going to get into this a little bit more thoroughly here. The vicious, vile attack by this Kim Strassel. She's just the latest. Sitting behind some computer, I think, in Virginia. I'll get him. I'll get him. I know how to get the guy, and I'll... She... She says that, uh, thanks to, in essence, Cruz, ISIS has arisen. Thanks to Cruz, we couldn't get rid of Obamacare. Still here, she says. Thanks to Cruz, Obama's immigration orders are on the books. He couldn't get rid of those. One senator, by the way. Maybe she needs to go back to third grade and understand how there's three branches of government and how that's supposed to work. And she goes on and on in this vein. Mindless, pathetic, absurd. Oh, did you know Cruz is the reason why Ed Gillespie almost won, but in fact lost the Senate seat in Virginia? Not the fact that John Warner, her perfect senator, a moderate, unprincipled old, old coot who has no loyalty to the party or conservatism, the fact that he endorsed Gillespie's opponent, she doesn't even mention that. No, Ted Cruz cost Gillespie his Senate seat. And Ted Cruz cost Scott Brown his Senate seat in New Hampshire, even though Scott Brown had gone from being a conservative and lurched to a moderate in order to hope that he could pick off New Hampshire, and he failed. She sounds like these nut jobs on global warming, that global warming's responsible for everything. Take the phrase global warming out and put Ted Cruz in, and then you have a Kim Stossel article. And she writes for the Wall Street Journal. Because the Wall Street Journal is not conservative. It's a mess. It's got very few principles. It's an infomercial, if you will, for the export-import bank types. Whether it supports that or not is of no consequence. It's an infomercial for Rupert Murdoch. It's an infomercial for Mexico and open borders. It's an infomercial for elitists who don't understand blue-collar workers in this country and, quite frankly, don't even understand economics. It is amazing that the editorial writers at the Wall Street Journal are economic illiterates. All you have to do is look at the Census Bureau data, and I did it in my book, Plunder and Deceit. Hey, G. Gott, Paul G. Gott, maybe you'll, maybe you'll take that chapter and try and attack it. And then I'll get back to you again. In any event, if you're looking at that page and some of these other outlets, and you're thinking to yourself, wow, why are they doing these things? They're conservative. They're not conservative. They're infomercials. They're editorials for their subscribers, which is a shrinking base. A shrinking base. Conservatism. Constitutionalism. Liberty, security, is much more complicated than the, the buffoons who write at the Wall Street Journal would have you believe, and others in pseudo or pretend conservative media. I'll be right back. Mark Levin. Mark Levin, 77 WABC. Let me educate uh, Kim Strassel and the other kids over there at the Wall Street Journal, almost none of whom bent a finger to help elect the greatest president in modern times, Ronald Reagan, and certainly didn't comprehend what he did. Let me help them out. Cruz is the candidate who's more like Ronald Reagan than any other candidate in this race. I'm not endorsing anybody at this point. I just want to make something quite clear. Reagan insisted that we draw distinctions between conservatives and the other side, between Republicans and the Democrat Party. That's one of the main reasons, one of the primary reasons he ran in 1976 against a sitting president of the United States, Gerald Ford, who he considered inept and inarticulate, who wasn't taking the conservative case to the American people. And he did something that he was horrifically attacked for, as a former governor of the biggest state in the country, he decided to take on a sitting Republican president in a Republican primary, and he almost beat him. But according to Kim Strassel, if you follow her logic, why did he bother? Must have been self-aggrandizement, right? 
What a how effective was it in 1970? Not as if he could stop the Soviets. Not as if he could cut uh, Carter's taxes. Not as if he could do anything. Look at him, tilting at windmills. Reagan would say, and this is what he wrote specifically, we can point out to the people how different the Democrats and the Republicans are. He considered that crucially important, among other things. That's what Cruz is doing in the U.S. Senate, Ms. Strassel. That's what he's doing in the U.S. Senate, you bush hacks. You fools, don't you understand? The American people are not rallying to the Republican Party because there's nothing to rally to. You don't give them a reason. They despise the Democrats. They despise Obama. They despise Harry Reid. And yet we still don't beat them because of people like the people who write at the Wall Street Journal editorial page. That's why. You don't give the American people a reason to get excited and motivated and become activists. You must distinguish liberty from tyranny. I'll be right back.